Rick Hong after Buzz TV. We're at the carpet for Major Crimes 100 episode celebration, and it's the last season. I can't wait to talk to the cast and get some of their thoughts next. I just want to tell you how excited I am to meet you because you've been breaking ground for Asian Americans for a long, long, long time. I'm so happy to hear you say that. Um, that's why I kind of became an actor. Has the journey ever been tough? Because you, I just started hosting, like I'm not an actor, but it's people like you, actors like you, Asian Americans like you, that have been breaking the ground to do to open this door. How hard was it back in the day? You know, I never saw it as, as difficult. I just saw it as this is, this is, this is the journey. Um, this is what I'm gonna do once I decided, which was relatively late, you know, because I was, I was still floundering around in college, and then I decided, okay, uh, I'm going to give up the music career, and I'm going to, and I know what, what, what it entailed. Cause Wait, did you say music career? I was, I was in, I was a keyboard player. Oh, that's awesome. I didn't know that. <laughs> For a lot of bands in the uh, San Francisco Bay Area, starting when I was like 14. So uh, you were going to be an artist of some version, whether it was like in a music or it was in acting, I guess, huh? Uh, well, that I didn't know. Um, when the music, the music thing was mediocre at best. Ah. But uh, once I discovered acting, I went, ah, this I know how to do, but it's going to be it's going to be tough. And um, I knew I knew who my role models were, and I knew they had it tough. And I had to uh, kind of pick, pick a path, uh, stick to my guns. Because, uh, you know, representing the race is, is, is kind of what we do. It goes with the territory. And I don't mind. How, how do you feel what progress has been for Asian Americans in the past? I mean, you've been working for decades, so <laughs> not to age you, but... Yeah, I, yeah I'm, I'm up there. Um, like how do you feel like the opportunities are? It's getting better. Um, I think my first series with CBS 14 years ago, I remember someone like you coming up and said, well, you're it this year, meaning I was the one Asian American guy on, on a network television show. And now there's more. How many? <laughs> well, I mean, here's my thing. I mean, I think you may be the first, or I could be wrong. I mean, you're technically, like, you're over 200 of playing the same character. Yeah, that's true. That's, that's amazing. That's phenomenal. I mean, for, yeah, to play, like, I mean, what, 10 years at least? 13. 13 years? Yeah. That, are you going to be sad to say goodbye to this character? Um, yeah, of course. Uh, I don't know if I, I'm going to say goodbye, because it's, it's going to be... Our fans are very loyal, and they're worldwide, so that character is going to be with me. And I don't mind. It's a great character. It could have been worse. <laughs> sure, no, absolutely. I mean... Oh, man. I remember some pilots that I did, and those characters. <laughs> Thank God. Thank God. It's, it's, uh, it's a good role model. Uh, so you're saying that you've enjoyed this character as opposed to maybe some other characters in the past? Yeah, yes, and it's it's it, it's good because I remember before this character happened, people would come and say, "Oh, you're always the bad guy, or you're always the villain, or you're always See, this or that or whatever." I, I remember you as a Data's dad. That's when I first kind of saw you in Goonies. I used to work for Richard Donner and Lauren Schuler Donner too. So cool. Oh, very good. Well, yeah, there's there's some people on the show. That don't care what I've done in the past, as long as I did Goonies, that was fine. That was fine. Um, so, so are you gonna do a comedy next? Because this, this, this act, this, this show is so serious. Like, will you, will you like, do you want to tell your agent to say, hey, okay, we're, we're done with the show now. Go get me a comedy. Something just came by my desk, and it said it was a comedy. <laughs> it was, but it was, I don't know, it wasn't funny, but. In the theater, I was always the big gregarious comedian. On TV, all of a sudden, I shave my head and I'm a cop. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see if something's out there. There was a pilot just before this one where it was big and, big and broad. But um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what's out there.